been a few days since the last recording, and, like, I just really have wanted to play the game the whole time <laughs> that I've been away from it, which is weird, because I normally am not, you know, that obsessed <laughs> as I'm playing stuff, but I've been enjoy I like this game. And those sound effects, I think there might have been a patch for the game since I last played. The volume is so high. Yeah, holy smoke -aroonies. That's better. Uh, that can probably go down just a tiny bit more. Okay, we'll see if that helps. If it doesn't, then, well. <laughs> Alright. Taking this? But yeah, I'm. I really just. There's something about this game, it just kind of bit me. Like, I'm enjoying it a lot. This is where the light was coming from, right? I think so, but. Daylight is fading. We should move. I can't see that light from before anymore. Was it a mirage? Or are those only in extreme heat? No, it was real. I think. Let's head closer to the parish and check. Taking this? Uh, yeah, like, I don't know. There's just, there's just something to this game that I'm just deeply liking. It's just cute and quaint. So this is the Moonlit Parish at Terran. After you! Don't move! Furry! What business do you have in Etern? Watch where you're pointing that thing! If you value your lives, go no further. What do you mean? <sighs> Oh, it's just a fox. <laughs> Eter no longer benefits from its elemental's protection. Let this be a warning. Trespassing within could cost you your life. I am Morley, a swordsman from Etern. It's last, in fact. Wait, but Etern... You mean... you're... a survivor from the parish? Hmm. <sighs> I like his voice. I see. You and the alms need to go through Etern in order to cross the valley and complete your pilgrimage. I understand your predicament, but as you saw, getting into Etern can be... complicated. Let's get to higher ground with a better view of the moon. This is fun. Of that guy. Are we sure we want to trust someone who throws swords at people? I don't think he meant it personally. And he did save us in the end. Weird place to make camp, though. Why is he here? I can't tell how loud the music is for you all, so... Maybe that's a little bit more balanced. Taking this? Yes! <laughs> got some syrup! Alright. Not a bad tent you've got here. If you're from a Terran, does that mean you still live in the area? Uh, no. I simply return whenever I have the time. No one can camp out in the snowstorm indefinitely. So how did you manage to get here without a bridge? You can go through the parish, but only when it's a new moon. It's not common knowledge, but those of us who travel in the area keep track of the moon's phases. Now that we're in on the secret, we can get through a tarn too. Then, do you know when the next new moon is? 
About two weeks from now. Uh-oh. We can't wait that long. There is one other time you can pass. During an eclipse. You can only enter the parish when the moon is hidden, during a new moon or an eclipse. It happens to be about time for another eclipse, actually. The moon is full now. Maybe to help guide the alms on their pilgrimage. New moon, full moon, eclipse. Whatever's going on, it sounds like we're still stuck waiting around in this freezing cold. If you're looking for something to do, I could use your help. I'm looking for a sphere. A moon sphere, to be precise. It's an old Eternian legend. I know it's here in the drift somewhere. I'm certain of that much. If you would help me search, I'd be most grateful. Searching for ancient moon treasure? Sounds good to me! <sighs> you have my thanks. Let's start toward the south end of Fallow Bridge, near the bottom of the drop-off. Hmm. Morley has joined the party. Oh my god! A dexterous and uh, Morley, dexterous and nimble, is adept at dealing lightning uh, fast attacking salvos. He is a powerful fighter skilled in a variety of techniques. If you manage to tap into his full potential, he can make for an exceptional damage dealer. If you perfect the timing of his katana swings, he can counter enemy attacks with powerful moves. Has Morley been continuing his search all by himself this whole time? Sounds lonely. If there's anything we can do to help him out, we should. Do-gooders, the both of you. Oh, I am intrigued by the idea of treasure hunting. Let's plan our next move. All right. Uh. Oh, I should do elemental plot for Morley. Because he starts off with stuff that everyone else has. Give him wind, whatever. Oh, I forget they get magical girl transformations. What does he become? Oh, dual daggers. Triple daggers, because he holds one in his tail. That's cute. <laughs> his design's a little bit uncanny. Try out my new skills. Nomad. Okay. His design's a little bit uncanny, but... My horizons have broadened. I'm on the right track. Uh... I think what's gonna happen is... I really don't want to give the thing to this guy. Dagger Tree Protector Pelis. Alright. I mean, this clothing does look a little bit more... Uh, let's see. Wielding three nimble knives, these travelers can increase the party's critical hit rate and provide other helpful effects in combat. So this is another passive. I guess that's what it just what it does, no matter what. Does it remember anything? No. All right, well. Guess we just move forward. Yes! Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> that scared me. I felt my stomach drop. It's just fun. This is a fun, cool game that I like. Oh no, I wanted to get that thing. Oh, because I'm in town technically right now. I can't just easily climb on stuff. Ugh. It's so annoying. <laughs> there we go. Yes! Okay. Let's see. Let's go back to the drifts to find the moon sphere. Got some syrup. But yeah, I took a few days off recording this to finish some other things, and uh, it was—it just was cool. It was—I—I I 
constantly was like, I should make time to play more Visions of Mana. This I like this game. This place is huge. Where do we even start looking? Over the years, I've narrowed it down to close to Fallow Bridge for the south. Oh, then it's back to the Broken Bridge we go. Nice timing. Last one. Don't let it get away. It's useless to run. Don't let victory go to your head. I just realized I forgot to equip him with sigils. Um, let's give him resist freeze and I don't know flame saber. Why not? So I've already done pretty much all I can do in this area in terms of like grabbing stuff. Wow, this goes fast. Combat with three characters rules. <laughs> this is very convenient for me. And I get to play as a kitty. area have a lot of greenery back in the day? Of course. Though we had our fair share of bitter winter months, but flowers bloomed in the spring, and the air was thick with birdsong. If only travelers like yourselves could have seen it. Apologies for my show of force earlier. I realize that must have been startling. You think? I mean, most people don't throw swords at folks they just met. Maybe start with a stop before resorting to violence. Oh. I will take that into consideration. Well, that's something at least. Baby steps. <laughs> Morley's voice sounds really familiar, <laughs> and I don't know why. Moving. <laughs> There, there, it's not Matthew Mercer, but it has like a Matthew Mercerism to it that I find like very familiar. Whoa! He can pop people up. They weren't so tough. Okay, he's a fun character to play. <laughs> is the moon sphere. I've never heard of it personally. All I know for sure is that it's connected to the elemental spirits. That's enough. After the perish was destroyed, the sphere went missing. I want to return it to my home. Oh, Morley. Please, let us help you. We'll get your homeland's treasure back. The moon sphere should be near this area. Keep an eye out. Sure thing. We'll leave no snowdrift unturned. Nice. Got it. Why does his voice sound so familiar? Who else has he played? I honestly have no clue. Look, the sylphid boomerang is glowing. What is that? It's called an elemental vessel. This one contains wind spiritual energy. Do you think the wind spirits could be reacting to the moon sphere? Down there! Oh, moon is an element, is isn't it? Is that the moon sphere you needed? It is. They say that the moon's elemental power is stored in this sphere. I suppose that's why the elemental vessel reacted. I'm so glad you found it. I've been searching for so long. It would have taken me forever to find this on my own. I am indebted to you for your kindness.
five minute quest line. We can rest back at my camp. Okay, we we haven't awoken it yet or whatever. We found it. I can hardly believe it. Thank you for your help. What was that? Did I hear a Karina? We couldn't have done it without your amazing skills. Glad we could assist. Though we should really go back to the camp. Whoa! I almost forgot I was freezing in the excitement. <laughs> oh, it's a parry. Nice timing. Interesting. Interesting. So if you noticed, uh, spherical, huh? I wonder what it's used for. It must do something, or the elemental vessel wouldn't have reacted. Maybe you throw it, like the sylphid boomerang. You know, I think I'll hold on to the sphere for safekeeping. So the the thing I was thinking is just um I suppose we're stuck until the new moon or an eclipse then. There's supposed to be a lunar hmm. eclipse soon. Now, when was it? Oh, I hate sitting around waiting on celestial bodies to do their my poor joints have never been so stiff in my life. My tent is insulated against the cold. And there's a fire. Hold out until then. I'll try. So those attacks this one if it it's a dodge so if they attack me at the same time as i hit the button i get a parry and it does extra damage it seems that fucking slaps that's so cool i haven't had company in these snow fields in so long you never asked anyone else to help you find a moon sphere this isn't the type of place you invite friends to no i suppose i did invite you all in a way we're happy to be here just want to make a difference that's all <laughs> Oh no. I'm on it. I'll carry on from here. My aim is just what I need. Thank you, mighty soul guard. There we go. I am, uh, I'm, I'm running between places and fighting enemies just because I want to level up. Like, just get more experience that way. I don't need to just fast travel everywhere. I have a feeling, I'm not saying this just because Morley's like a cat boy, but... Oh, fire, I love you! We'll have a good view of the moon from that higher ground we passed. Let's hurry. But the, uh... From what I understand, this is kind of what, like, Nino Kuni 2 is like. <laughs> that's what people have told me. And if that's the case, maybe I need to give those games a second chance. It's because it's, like, passingly pleasant. The moon looks beautiful tonight. Hard to imagine that there's a raging snowstorm nearby. This blizzard roars throughout Lefeia, like the moon lamenting the loss of her alm. The moon is so bright tonight, it looks like it's come to tell us something. Hey! What is going on? Something's happening. It's here. The time of Moonlight's reversion. Cool. Kitty people, furries. Oh, you don't run off now. <laughs> Is that his kid? Uh, Morley, 
Oh no, it's him. I swear, that child. <laughs> Mother. Hey, what's all this? I thought the Moonlight was playing tricks on us at first, but the people of Aterna have come back. Morley, what's happening here? <gasps> He's scurrying. Hey, wait! We should go too. He's getting his scurry on. Alrighty then. Morley has left the party. Oh no, I liked him though. Hey, Morley, why you to leave us behind? My apologies. I wasn't thinking clearly. So, we've got a tiny Morley running around a restored parish, but still no clue what's going on. <laughs> I talk to these people? No. Uh? I'm sorry, how are there people here now? Right? The storm's died down, it seems. Mm. It's here, now's my chance. Please grant me strength, elemental of the moon. for this ingenious device, so the history books say. A king from long ago commissioned the sand glass. It's a clock, powered by the spirits of the moon. The people of Etern were known as keepers of time. At first, they based their calculations on the moon, but with the sand glass, they could tell time even on a cloudy day. Huh, sounds nice not to have to worry about the weather to do your job. But the sand glass was broken when we saw the parish earlier. How come it looks brand new now? That's because... Honestly, come back here! But the fairy's gonna come! I don't wanna miss anything! Is that boy... Yes, it's me. Mother. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we, we can't talk to any of the spirits. What a vibrant scene. It almost looks real. This had to have been what a tarn used to be like. Oh, it's so be beautiful. I like it. It's very pretty. Yes! Lucre. There's Lucre around. Nope, it's not moving. Okay, I really thought we could cross this valley this way. Are these beefy lion men? I think they are. They sure are. Look at those, those bara chests. Meow. See, is this <laughs> curious cookie wowzer? <laughs> what? <laughs> let me let me out. Let me do it. It's on the other side, I think. God damn it. Oh well. We'll talk to Morley again. Taking this? Mother, I am so sorry. This was the day I broke the lunar sand glass. If I hadn't, Etern would never have. It's all my fault. Uh, 
the heck did he get up there? Get down from there. <laughs> but I can see the fairy so much better from here. Oh! Whoa! Morley? No, please. Morley! No, the sands of time have scattered! What's happening? Somebody help! How could this have happened? Is the sand making the parishioners disappear? Hold on, Mother. I didn't have this back then, but now I finally found it. Moonsphere, give me power over time so I can fix this. It's just not gonna do anything. But the sphere, why isn't this working? Gasp you. Molly! You're all right. I am so glad you're safe. Mother? No! Hina? Karina? <laughs> There's little Morley from the past. So, I guess we're still stuck in those weird visions. What a fascinatingly aware main character. The moon sphere. If I only had the moon sphere, I could save Mother. I gotta search... Gotta search the Lafayette drop-off. Hang on! It's dangerous out there! Huh. The main character of this game has Philip J. Fry energy. <sighs> Alright, hold on. I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna get that chest. There's a puppy. <gasps> I have to go after Morley. Okay, so I can't go out this way. That's fine. I dislike it, like, actually making me walk between these Soul segments. Guard. Val. Huh? You must save Morley. I beseech you. The powerful thoughts trapped in his mind since that day have resonated with the lunar eclipse. His desires have upended the flow of time. In his true form, Morley can protect himself from monsters. But as the child he has reverted to, he is in grave danger. The moon sphere you have found is one of the elemental vessels, the Luna Glow. I am certain that you will be able to harness its powers. Please help us. Much as Morley calls out for my blessings, I too need the power of his devotion. Okay. Did the moon just talk to us? The Luna Globe is ensorcelled with the power of Luna, the moon elemental. It is the ability to manipulate the flow of time. Pressing right trigger during battle will place the vessel down at your current location. Enemies approach it. A zone of lunar energy will emerge, slowing the movement speed. Oh, nice. 
Okay, I'm hearing voices. At least it sounded honest. Let's go ahead and equip that so that I can see what it does for us. It does, is this going to give me a spear? Cool. Armor, my favorite thing ever. It does. It gives us a spear. I'm going to go buy the other spear. The better one. Is this my new power? Aegis. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's possible to switch your elemental vessel from the vessel menu. You can also change it on the fly in the main menu. This is handy. I need to quickly change to a different elemental vessel. Okay. <sighs> Only now I can't seem to find Hina or Karina. First things first. I should catch up to Morley. Then I can worry about the others. Uh, actually, what's gonna happen is we're gonna we're gonna teleport away back to the other town so I can buy a new spear if it will let me. If it'll let me cheat a little bit and do that. our next move I can't fast travel okay well you got to give me points for trying out there in the drifts you have to come back Morley uh, I just realized I forgot to do the elemental plot as well he's too far ahead I have to reach him before any monsters do Ah, I got these now. Power of men. I'm brimming with power. All right, let's learn spears. The gloves are off. Take this. Oh, it's a shield bash, but can I use it to block? Luna glow. Oh no, I died. What a fool I've been. I think this game auto saves. <laughs> I hope it does. Oops. Okay, it does. Ooh. All right, maybe spear isn't as fun as I thought. We'll have to see. All right. I'll take you all on. Okay. Right back at you. Okay. And this fortifies my shield. Okay. Yeah, this is cool. You're mine. Come at me. Okay. And we can just kind of parry attacks as they come in. Oh no, I'm out of parries. I'm out of fortification. This should be the last of them. Come on. Hit. I'm on it. Okay. Use your range attack on me. I want to see how this works. Okay, no. It ha it has to be Come on. Okay, so that did fortify the shield. Here, use this. Take this. Next. Maybe I can learn this. Maybe I can learn how to use this. 
Please work. Thanks for the pick me up. It's intriguing. Uh, where's my Meridian? I just want to save so that I don't lose out on this. Let's rest up. All right, save. Lethea drifts. Interesting. I feel like looking for that moon sphere ever since she was a child. This could get what's going on. I have to get to him. Really powerful. Like I, I think that the the parry could be really or the shield or whatever. She could be really good. Put it. Let me down, idiot. I'll show you. Garmer ray. Whoa. Okay, that's pretty good. This should be the last of them. They weren't so tough. Oh, this is an elemental challenge. We probably aren't high enough level to do it yet, so. Much like the other one. Oh, and you can have more items out of battle than you can have in battle. Interesting. The gloves are off. Take this. Take this. Next. Just one left. And do your thing at me. Come at me. A right. soul guard's resolve never sways. Doing the shield thing is is actually tougher than it seemed. <laughs> there he is. Come here, Morley. You won't find the moon sphere there. I I know. I searched and searched, but in the end, I didn't find the moon sphere. If, if I, hadn't I hadn't been climbing, been climbing on the sand glass, glass in the first, in the first place, place, they would, they would have, been have been spared. spared. Etern, Etern, my, my mother. mother. Were there any other survivors from Etern? While I was crying, I remembered the tales of the Moon Sphere and how it had power over time. I thought I might be able to reverse what happened to Etern. So I ran out of the parish and started to search for the sphere, but I was attacked by a pack of monsters. This happened 16 years ago. We have to run. We can't win against the swarm. We can and we will. What is he like 25 it's now? Different now. You have the moon spirits on your side. You can do this, Morley. Then let's go. What would this turn? What would the elemental vessel turn Morley into? Soul God. Thou. The lunar globe has the ability to manipulate the time. Utilize its powers correctly. You can stop your foes in their trap. Behold my power! Let's do this. It's fine. No holding back! There's one left. We've got company. Here I go. Okay. Oh my god, Morley. Next. Take this. Just one left. Here, 
Use this. You won't lose. Take this. Right back at you. There we go. That's useless to run. Okay. Woof. We did it. That was tough. We, we did it. Uh, phew. So, what happened in the past when you were attacked? I was saved by a traveling merchant passing by. We ran away as fast as our legs could carry us. But this time we defeated the monsters. See how strong you've become, Morley? I have your strength to thank for that. And the help of the Moon Sphere. How did you get it to work, anyway? Oh, well, a mysterious voice back in Etern asked me to save you. They told me this thing is actually an elemental vessel called the Luna Globe. The voice said it needed you for something, but I couldn't see where it was coming from. <sighs> That's disconcerting. We should go back to Etern. Hmm. Sounds like a good enough plan. The Moon Sphere was more powerful than I imagined. I was able to sharpen my focus and delay my opponents. Yeah, you are so calm in the face of that many enemies. I'm still not sure what the voice wants me for. Who does it belong to? The voice said that you two needed each other. Me? Mysterious. You're mine! One more. Take okay. I've got your back. So interestingly enough, the spear, despite being like a pierce weapon, is is kind of like an AoE weapon. Like it it, it has a poke, but then its Y is like big crowd control. You were so uh. fast as a kid. I could hardly keep up. I loved running back then. It was probably the thing my mother scolded me for the most. Tonight's lunar eclipse is a special one, known as the time of moonlight's reversion. Some say that time can be reversed when the eclipse is at its peak. I thought if I used the power of the moon sphere during the moonlight's reversion, I might have a chance to save Etern and my mother. While it's true that I've gotten stronger over the past 16 years, I was still Helpless. The light. What's that light? I think it's above a tarn. Come on. Endless winter has plagued this land for years, but I've never seen anything like what's occurred today. I must witness it all, or I couldn't live with myself. It's what's kept me going for so long. I just don't want to lose progress. Oh, will you accompany me for a bit longer? Of course. Let's see this through together. Let's plan our next move. There we go. Now I can save.